In today's Defence Team News Minute, the commander of the Royal Canadian Air Force, Lieutenant General Michael Hood, gives us his thoughts on the newly released defence policy. The policy identifies a number of improvements for the RCAF. They include the purchase of 88 new fighter aircraft to replace the CF-18 fleet, replacing the Polaris, Twin Otter and Aurora with next generation equipment, and acquiring new aircrew training systems. Here's what Lieutenant General Hood had to say about what these investments mean for the men and women of the RCAF. Well, as commander of the RCAF, I couldn't be happier to see um, strong, secure and engaged uh, with such a strong proponent of air power capabilities. Uh, this defense policy will see the delivery of uh, and renewment of virtually every one of our uh, existing fleets and incredible investments in new capabilities. My belief is that this defense policy will ensure that the RCAF will be able to continue uh, to have daily success in its most important role as the guarantor of Canadian sovereignty. So whether it's the commitment to 88 uh, future fighters, whether it's the investment uh, in uh, remotely piloted aircraft, um, armed remotely piloted aircraft, which will allow us great flexibility uh, both domestically and abroad. Uh, that same capability that can drop a weapon from a UAV can also drop a search and rescue package, for example. So I'm really pleased to see the breadth of capabilities and the reinvestment in the Royal Canadian Air Force. Equally, uh, we tend to be distributed across the country in rather remote locations, which brings up a lot of challenges with respect to health care, child education. I believe this defense policy is going to give uh, the Air Force the tools to ensure that we are putting our people front and centre in everything that we do. You can learn more about the defence policy by visiting Defence Team Intranet site and visiting the CAF social media accounts. There, you can also access additional resources including backgrounders, infographics and videos to help you better understand what it means for the defence team and your organisation. Stay tuned for the next Defence Team News Minute as we talk more with senior leadership about what the policy means for the CAF. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.